host. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Zdenek's English podcast. My name is Zdenek. People also call me Teacher Zdenek. Actually, it's not people. It's me who calls myself <laughs> Teacher Zdenek. And I am doing one of those interviews that I used to do a lot of back in the day. Interviews that I did outside. Whereas these days it's mostly online. And today I've got uh, Jenks here with me. Hi, Jenks. Hello. How are you doing? I'm okay. Or, D or is it David? I think Jenks is better for online. Jenks is my nickname. David's my Christian name. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think Jenks is better for Vietnam. All right then. So that you, you have now revealed to everyone that we are indeed still in Vietnam, or I am still in Vietnam. So we are recording this in Vietnam, and. Well, we should say one more thing. There's also Chris here with us. Hi, Chris. Hello. Hello, Denek. Hello, guys. Good to be back. <laughs> so, obviously, you recorded the episode about your YouTube channel, Expat Nam, with me. Yeah. About two months. Was it like three months ago? Wow, yeah. It was... Um, I think you're about right. It was... Yeah. When we first... Just after I first got here. So, we sat down by the ocean and... Yeah. and took a deep dive into all things <laughs> Vietnam pun and intended. YouTube related. Pun intended. <laughs> yeah. Right, but actually you are here to just sort of drink, chill out drink today. coffee, yeah. Yeah, you're just <laughs> drinking coffee because you live next, right next to Jenks. We don't have to tell uh, any, everyone your address, guys, don't worry. <laughs> but you live right next to Jenks, so you, you thought you might as well come for for this live recording, but this is not supposed to be with you, this interview, so are you are you okay just sitting back? Yeah, I just I just sit here on the periphery and uh, <laughs> make sure you guys, uh, you know, conduct the, the interview in good English. <laughs> oh, well, well, oh, yeah. <laughs> Now that you have become... Um, are we allowed to say that? A VIP, <laughs> a VIP. someone who does exams. I sh I'm not going to yeah, say... Let's just leave it there. I think leave, let's leave it there. Uh, Yeah. Okay, we have to be very careful what we say, how we say it. Pro it has to be proper English, yeah? <laughs> Are you ready for this, Jenks? I am, yeah. Let's get started. Okay. Well, today's episode I wanted to be about gardening, because that's the topic you chose. That was one of the topics I chose, that you, right. your eyes lit up when I said gardening. <laughs> I did say about ten other topics before, and then Zenit yeah. thought he hadn't done a gardening one before. So exactly. Well, I think I, I, I haven't done any justice to this wonderful topic that I know nothing of. Um, Join the club. <laughs> what do you mean? You didn't tell me that. Well, I did say I was a beginner gardener as I'm That's okay. reaching middle age now, getting older, finding new hobbies. Hang on, if you're reaching middle age, yeah. what a, where am I then? Where, 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 where is Chris? Where is Chris? <laughs> didn't have to say that, James. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Not, not, not middle-aged yet. Still, I'm still young. Yeah, young yeah. Enough. Please please do say that. Because it affects me as well. Yeah, we're <laughs> only as young as the woman you feel. I heard that once said before. <laughs> yeah. oh. don't, 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 don't steal the show, Chris. S say no more about that. <laughs> don't steal the show. It's about gardening. And it doesn't matter that you're a beginner gardener because I'm zero gardener. I know nothing about it. And I've been always avoiding it. But I think it's a nice topic to talk about. And I'm sure a lot of listeners will like this topic. And some of them may relate even to the experience of being a gardener novice. Or novice gardener. Mm. Which one is it? Home gardener novice. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, but before we get to that, maybe we should say how we know each other. Well, yeah, so how did we meet? I am one of the many fans of Xenex creative output. Um, Are you? Does on the weekend, which is board oh, games. Sorry, I thought I thought you were going to refer to the podcast, no, which would, podcast. would really surprise me. <laughs> I have looked at Zenex YouTube channel and I'm channel and I'm a subscriber. But yeah. tells me whenever he has a shower, he has the podcast on. <laughs> Does your girlfriend know? I think, I think Zenex said he doesn't usually edit podcasts, but I've got a feeling this one might need to be edited slightly. <laughs> no, no, no. It's fine. It's fine. We we leave it all in. Yeah, I yeah. occasionally go to. Zenex board game nights. Hi, I am Sarkhan. I like the Achievers Chamber because it helps you practice whenever you want.
For more information about the Achievers Chamber, go to teacherszenek.com. Yeah, I yeah. occasionally go to Zenek's board game nights that he does here in yeah. Danang when I can get to it. I'm not, I'm not there religiously, but I go yeah. as often as I can. Yeah. And it's I fun. To, I, I love board games. We have so. to convert you into one. Yeah, I do love board games. It's just, yeah, I've been here for a while, so it's quite, get quite busy. But yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, you you show up every now and then, yeah. once in a blue moon. So and it's fun. I really enjoy board games. Unlike the, Chris. <laughs> Well, well, to be fair Chris, to Chris, Chris doesn't like board games. Chris is not a gamer. So, so. Yeah. Yeah, why would he? Why would he torture himself with that? Uh, it's such a terrible activity. I wish I activity. liked games. It sounds, does sound like great fun, but uh, my brain doesn't seem to work so well with games. I don't know why. That's okay. It's one of those things, I suppose. <laughs> that's all right. Everybody has something, man. So um, that's how we met. And yeah. I think we also met through our met through mutual friends. So yeah. we probably met through yeah. Chris and Tom. That might, that, uh, no, so I introduced Tom to the board games. So Chris, yeah, you, but you, I did, you know Chris from his YouTube but channel. But I didn't know you before, before I met Chris. Yeah, but I, I, uh, I, I, I hadn't been to your game night. But I just had a chat with Tom one Saturday morning. Okay. And he was just going through a difficult time. And I said, yeah. I know something you might enjoy. I haven't been, but I've just got an inclination that this is you. All right, and I said go next Friday. I've never been. Yeah, and it was right. He it happens really he quickly. Like this games, stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just said go because just a needed, word of yeah. mouth. Yeah, word of mouth is really important when you're an expat in, or mm-hmm. well, whatever. But especially as an expat when you're in a foreign country, because yeah, yeah, definitely who you know. Oh, we are three expats, three white experts living white in, male in Vietnam, expats. right? Yeah. 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 But I don't know how <laughs> important word of mouth is when we talk about gardening. Probably. Probably not. <laughs> Probably not that much, but yeah. anyway, it's the topic that we are doing, and it's kind of appropriate that we are sitting in your rooftop garden. Yeah, which is lovely, I have to say. Thank you. Yeah, we've a few hours of toil has gone into it, but as I'm off for the summer, so I'm actually a teacher in a school. I teach English literature, and I'm on a two-month summer break now, so. Uh. Yeah, I just thought I wanted a new hobby, had the space. Uh, aircon bills are very high in the summer because we use air conditioner here a lot. So yeah. I thought we need a rooftop space where we can get the natural breeze. And So when you looked for a place to live, did you actually... What was one of your criteria for picking? My, my main criteria was the big kitchen because I love cooking. Okay. Um, yeah, that was one of the topics I banned because I've already done it. So yeah, I was like, I can't do cooking topic. again. So let's do do gardening instead. And I love herbs, so that's why I started gardening. And then my girlfriend loves flowers, and I like them too. When you say herbs, you mean herbs, not like anything. Not uh, not anything inappropriate. No. No. Okay. I'm just 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 making sure. That's in Jenks at the garden. That's downstairs. (laughs) That's That's the one in the basement. Can you can you grow anything in in a basement? Is that even possible? I'm not, as you said. Maybe mushrooms or something. Yeah. Probably. Mushrooms. Mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> no, mushrooms, mushrooms can do too, yeah. Uh, magic mushrooms. You get a lot of mold growing in, in, uh, in Da Nang. <laughs> yeah, they do, because of the wet season. Yeah, that's right. It's so humid and hot here. Yeah. Right, so, so um, what made you interested in gardening then? I think probably two two ways I got into gardening. So I've always been someone who has hobbies. I lo- uh, like always look for something else to do. I play a bit of guitar. I love sport. Um, but I got a neck injury about six months ago. So I've had to stop playing football and badminton, which is what I usually do every day. Mm-hmm. I thought I need to get something else. And as I mentioned before, I love cooking. Yeah. And I love fresh cooking and want to cook more healthy. Um, so herbs are important but European herbs aren't that common in Vietnam you have to go to the big supermarket to get them or the foreign kind of shop which is a bit pricier and it's so cheap to grow your own herbs it's literally free after you've bought the seeds or the plant so that's the main reason and then just this space up here we often have barbecues up here and just want it to look pretty for guests that come round and yeah that's probably the main reason my mum loves gardening too she's and my brother and his girlfriend of gardening so it's a bit of a family my mum grew up in a really big house with a huge garden one of those old english houses ah, right the victorian houses the victorian houses lots yeah. of a- orchard trees up ap- like apples pears so you're following your 
my my mother's footsteps. My grandmother's basically. footsteps more. Your grandmother yeah. footsteps, yeah. yeah. Okay. Although my mum is more, much more of a gardener than I am, and my auntie, yeah. Hmm. Did you always like gardening, or...? No, no, definitely not. This is one of those things, as I was saying, as you approach middle age, not there yet, <laughs> maybe a few years away, that uh, your tastes seem to change. Yeah. I'm becoming more of an old man, and yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, stop saying, stop, stop implying that you're but it's old. Not, it's, it's, it's not a neg. I don't see it as a negative. It's more of like. Well, I do. <laughs> well, it's not like a young person being told you gotta you gotta enjoy gardening now. I think your psyche and your mindset just changes where you you, you want to do it. Mm-hmm. The design, and it, obviously it might not be gardening. Fair That's, enough. That was my door. Sorry. Yeah, we also we can also occasionally hear uh, some whining sounds. That's your dog. That's mine and Chris's dog. And there's also Chris's dog here. We have two dogs with us today in the garden on the roof. So, so in total, there are five living beings here, up here on this <laughs> rooftop garden. Me, yeah. Chris, Jenks, Phil, and... Winston. 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 Well, Chir- we'll, not we'll Churchill, say, right? We'll say Prince Philip. Did you name your dog name. after Winston Churchill? I, I just, I don't know why I like the name Winston. I just thought <laughs> Poodle called Winston for some reason. It had a, a certain ring to it. And <laughs> I don't know what that ring was, but... I just oh. went with it. I quite like old names for dogs. So my dog at home yeah. is called Lady Sybil, which is a character from Downton Abbey. Okay. Like an old English character. This yeah. one's Prince Philip after <laughs> the late Queen's husband. And then, yeah, Winston after Winston Churchill. That is a, that is a really funny name, I have to say. <laughs> Boris Johnson would be proud of you. <laughs> it's his hero. He's Boris's hero, Winston Churchill. Yeah, that's right, yeah. It's oh. also quite easy for Vietnamese people, people to say win. Really? So they call him Win. Like Win Fast, Win Mark. Like, like the shop here, Win Win Mark. So Win's very easy for for local people to pronounce. <laughs> like Win Mark. Struggle. Yeah, yeah, that's that's like a <laughs> chain, like a supermarket chain here. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, that is lovely. So basically, you were motivated by the potential, the uh, ability to grow your own herbs, nice. right? So that's interesting. So does it mean that you like cooking? Like European style meals then yeah absolutely mm-hmm. um, Vietnamese food is lovely but I'm not one of those people who live here and pretend that Vietnamese food is the is the best food in the world for me okay. it's not it's it's nice but the spices they use in Vietnam are often very similar so they use lemongrass yeah. chili ginger and soy sauce fish sauce and the herbs, maybe some coriander on top, some Vietnamese coriander, mm-hmm. but the herbs don't deviate from that much. So it is, right. a, it is a nice flavor, but it's not a flavor that I want to taste every day. Mm-hmm. So that's why I cook myself. Um, there are some good restaurants here international, but yeah, I just, yeah, I guess cooking. Did you do it from the beginning? So how long have you been in, in Vietnam and Gosh. did you did you always cook? Seven years. Seven years, so it's similar to Chris, right? Chris was one more year than me. We met really? we met on my first month in Vietnam. We were neighbours in Saigon. Yeah, you, um, you guys used to live in Saigon. Yeah, and then I moved yeah. up here about four years ago. And now you're reunited in yeah, Da Nang again. Yeah, you make it sound like a, well, a story that's you, you told me you, you, used to <laughs> share, you told me you used to share an apartment as well. Once. I did, yeah. yeah. So there you go. Good and now, you, now you live, now you have... Houses next door. It's, it's, yeah, it's like a, it's we've gone it's full like circle. A, it's like friend in it's like, probably, yeah. sounds like a bromance to me, honestly. It is. Oh, it's, de- well, it's definitely a bromance. <laughs> <laughs> and we even we even have the same color dogs now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The only difference is that, that yours is curly. Yeah, <laughs> it's, a, it's a poodle. Mine's just and, a local. And considerably more naughty because he's only about four months old, so he's still a little crazy at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay then, so herbs. So obviously, I'm no expert, but I can imagine that the kind of things you can grow here in Vietnam must be different from what you are able to grow in the UK because of the climate, right? Yeah, that is true. Um, things like basil grow really well here because of the, they can have constant heat on them, the mm. sunlight. So they're really nice basil plants. I, I find this, I mean, I'm, I am only a beginner, but I find the seasons don't have much of an impact don't have as much of an impact as it does say and I'm from England so obviously you guys know what the weather is like in England quite rainy it doesn't get that hot in the summer mm-hmm. it's mild and yeah in the winter we don't get much sun at all and the days are very short so the the herbs and the plants in England are very seasonal in autumn all the leaves drop off unless something's evergreen the whole year round um, but yeah. here 
I mean, I haven't done it long enough to find out, but yeah, obviously plants flower and then they lose their flower, but it doesn't seem to be like a, a set time of the year, would you say that? I mean, it might be different from different plants as well, right? Because yeah. like in, uh, the, in our part of the world, like in Europe, yeah. obviously we know what autumn stands for, right? Yeah. Yeah. Every, like yeah, most yeah. of the, as you said, unless it's evergreen, yeah. uh, everything sheds, sheds its leaves, right? Yeah. And uh, that's when you get the harvest and uh, that's it. Yeah. So uh, it's completely different here because, like, when I arrived, it was um, winter. I arrived right before Christmas. Winter and in Europe. I, here. Okay. When I arrived here, it was winter. Oh, yeah. And so, obviously, I saw coconuts <laughs> on the palms on the trees. Ah, well. okay, yeah. So it was for me. It was a weird feeling, yeah. right? It's like, yeah. where am I? What's happening here? Yeah, I just I don't really think of um, Vietnam as spring, summer, autumn, winter. We more yeah, yeah. see it as just no. like rainy and sun. Yeah, rainy and sunny yeah. season. It's two seasons. Yeah. Hot yeah. and wet. It's two and seasons. Hot and wet. Well, for, mean, me, for me, when I arrived, it was like hot. Now it's hot, hot. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Really hot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, hot and really hot. <laughs> now okay. it is very, it's very hot, hot in Vietnam. Yes. Especially in in Da Nang. In Da Nang, it's like got a really extreme climate, right? So, like at the moment, we're sitting on a roof, but it's about 34, maybe yeah. 35 mm, degrees. Yeah. But the real feel with the humidity is in, is in the 40s. Um, and it's like that for about three, four months. Really? And then it drops, when does it happen? Drops down. Hasn't happened yet, has it? Yeah, well, forty no. degrees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, no, it, was, it feels like forty degrees. So it's oh about yeah, yeah, 35, yeah. 35, right. 35, but 35, does 35, 35. it go to forty no, degrees? No, no, no. Yeah. On your app, it will say it's thirty-five, but feels like forty. I understand. I, I see what you mean. But you do get days like a few weeks ago where it was clocking at thirty-eight, thirty-nine. Okay. Which is anything above thirty-three, thirty-four is very uncomfortable. Yeah, it is. With high humidity on top of that. But um, occasionally you get a breeze, and yeah, the breeze is fine, isn't it? Like now, yeah, it's, just it's almost like the breeze is teasing you, though, isn't yeah. it? It's just not quite enough. It's like a yeah, I, I really sweat a lot here, guys. It's incredible, and I, I always thought that I wouldn't, I would never have to use the aircon. I wanted to save money as well, yeah. but now I have to use it at night. Yeah, I don't have a choice you because my my it. landlord, uh, they they clean my room once a week, and uh, they complained about the fact that I had. I had made their mattress dirty because of the sweat. So they, they <laughs> oh, sent me a message: "You sweat a lot. Keep your mattress clean. is dirty. It will have to. <laughs> it will have to have. We'll have to have it cleaned." Yeah. I was like, "What? I, I got it really upset me a little bit because of the way they well, yeah. they said it to me." There's a condition, isn't it? I forget the yeah. medical condition. I forget the name of it. Where you sweat profusely. I don't think. <laughs> I don't think. I don't think. <laughs> you got that thing. Yeah. <laughs> well, we can explain it for the listeners, and I will make sure if I really got that. But. <laughs> <laughs> well, you look like you're sweating less than I am at the moment. So. Um, but you kind of get used to it. But it's actually very, it's actually pretty healthy to sweat, right? Like, yeah. If you if you look on like on YouTube at the moment, all these longevity people like like Peter Matia and all this, they okay. they're doing this heat therapy and cold are, therapy. Are you putting so. a positive spin on it now? Or what were no, you fine. doing? I'm going to introduce a second YouTube channel now. Like yeah. <laughs> yeah <right away. laughs> mindset, oh, co- mindset coach Chris. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm the opposite. If I, if I, if sometimes we get power cuts randomly in Vietnam, and if oh, we get a power cut, yeah. I book a hotel for the night. <laughs> I can't sleep where it's not comfortable, but inevitably my aircon bill is ridiculously high. Yeah. My, but my aircon bill this month is six times more than Chris for some reason. Really? Yeah. yeah. I think it's the aircon or my or my deep freezer that I have to store <laughs> European meats. It's all those frozen herbs in the freezer. Yeah, frozen it? joints. <laughs> anyway, as always. As it always happens on this podcast, we are going off track, but that's okay. Back to gardening then. So it is a it is a British thing, isn't it? It's one of the like culture, almost values, culture heritage. Oh yeah, British it's like gardens. a traditional thing. Even like in the Alan Titchmarsh. Yeah, I think even in the Lord of the Rings, like was Lord of the Rings was like inspired by the British. That's an English it? author. Yeah, I know, but was it like inspired by the British countryside and? The hobbits, ah, a little yeah, bit. Possibly, I think so, right? The, like, so the hobbits, the they were like gardeners, yeah, and yeah. So it is that, a British thing. That would make sense. Yeah, yeah. It's a very popular pastime with the older people in England, I'd say, especially like our parents' generation and their parents. Yeah. Maybe, yeah, maybe not so much it. now. My mum loves gardening. She really well, keeps yeah. her garden Absolutely. nice. Yeah, 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 um, yeah, yeah. That's probably not as much with the younger people as. Um, <laughs> that was, <a> dog. <laughs> was that you? Was that you, Chris? That was a dog Why do you make such sounds my, my, on my podcast? I discussed at the heat plate. 
<laughs> I think with, with, with city life, it's probably become less viable to garden. But um, as people move to London, but the youngsters move to London for work. But yeah. definitely, as you get older and you have more time on your hands, gardening's yeah, beautiful hobby. Mm-hmm. You also realize, oh, hang on a minute, I haven't been exactly living a healthy lifestyle. Let's do mm. something about it before it's too late. I think th- this is yeah. most people's journey, isn't it? Yeah, right, yeah. 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 It's actually very hard. It's quite back-breaking work gardening, about having to bend down to like dig, the, dig out the soil, plant the weeds. It's not all That's like... That's one of the questions I wanted to ask you about. Uh, like, what does gardening actually involve then? Well, let's, let's just I think it throw in some vocabulary here. So. Yeah, okay. It depends who you are and what, you, what you're trying so to do. So who are you? Who are you, Jenks? Tell us who I you are. I am a very kind of like low effort gardener. Low effort gardener. So, Actually, I like that. So I. Um, so th- wait, wait. So you need s- those plants that just grow by themselves. So you, do you have some cacti here? No, I'm not that. I'm not that lazy. I will. I love going up to my roof every day and watering the plants. That's yeah. fun. But I can do that from a standing up position. <laughs> Whereas I'll often at home when I go back home see my mum on. Bended me on all fours. I this see. is just the gardening, by the way. <laughs> I see that. Apart from Sunday, right? That <laughs> sounds like it sounds like advanced gardening like to really me. Really digging deep. Um, yeah, digging deep. That's what, was I'll, that a pun as well? Yeah. yeah. I'll hire. A, I'll hire yeah, someone yeah. if I have to go to that level here. To get the seeds in. Horror <laughs> boy. <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, I do. I do repot, and a few of my plants had root-bound roots. Which I had to then repot. The root bound another. roots. So um, if a plant is root bound, the roots are kind of, kind of wrapped around the yeah. soil of the plant. So then with, with like a tape or something, like a no, the, the gardening roots, tape. No, the roots have kind of like they've got nowhere to go, so they yeah. just like circle the plant. But well, what do you do with? Eventually, it strangles it. So you take it out the pot. Oh yeah, you, you have it in a dinner pot. You yeah, fi- of course. You find yeah. a bigger pot. And oh yeah, yeah, of course. And I have seen that before. Yeah. The roots just need somewhere to go, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So I did do that job the other day. So hang on, so 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 we're talking about a little bit of research, or either you have a little bit of knowledge, maybe it's passed on your parents to you or whatever. But uh, I I bet you also do a little bit of research. You might watch some videos or yeah. buy a book for beginner gardeners. That's one thing I imagine. Then you might you might have to buy the seeds. So you have to go to a, a garden. What do you call the place where you buy? Gardening uh, garden center, center, garden yeah, center. Yeah. Yeah. In Vietnam, probably Lazada or something like that. Lazada. <laughs> we go no, we go to a garden, uh, garden center. So that's where you buy like seeds and sometimes. To be fair, most of my, uh, most of my not crops but like flowers and herbs here uh, have already been. Uh, uh, are not. I don't plant them from seeds. I get the whole plant. Saplings. Uh, Saplings is just for trees. Yeah. Do you, do you also like call? So as you see here, these yeah. have been bought like this. I haven't I haven't grown them from seed. I've bought the whole plant from the center, right, 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 right. and I just maintain it. And then yeah. you can. And then sometimes we like snip off some of the leaves, and then we put them in the water, and we can grow them again. Mm-hmm. Um, but we actually we we're, we're beginners. I said so. We haven't grown anything from the seed to the. Well, you say we. You it's me and my Do you girlfriend. mean you? You and Chris? No, my, no, I, I was just like I wanted to make sure. Like it's me and Ming. Um, you are Ming. Yeah, Ming's my mm-hmm. my girlfriend. Okay. And she also. It's a hobby we can do together. That's actually what I was yeah, going to say. Like, um, must be very relaxing as well. Yeah, and when you date a foreign girl, like it's important to try and find those things that you both like because uh, yeah. naturally um, that's not going to happen. And gardening is one thing that we both enjoy. Mm-hmm. So yeah, she's really into it as well, probably for different reasons. But that's yeah. cool. That's cool. So um, so you basically skip that step of. Sewing. So you don't yeah, sew. Ne- next year we'll try and sew a few things, and I'm going okay. back to Europe in a couple of weeks. When you so mean sew, you mean the kind of sew where you put the seed so into the ground, not the sewing that you yeah. sti- do stitches and things. So sewing is the no. word that we call for planting the seed. Yeah. The There's soil. another word, sew, which is exactly the same. S E W S O W. Yeah, the, 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 the yeah. pronunciation is the same. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. a, they are homophones, so that, that always fascinated me. Yeah. And so, just just to make sure we so understand, like you're not films. a tailor, you're not a tailor, not, be, beginner no, tailor or no, anything. I'm not artistic enough for that. Okay. Well, but wouldn't you say that gardening is also it is a sort a kind of, of art. sort of yeah, art? It is a kind of art. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And let's just say I'm not like dexterous enough with my hands. To dexterous enough. Oh wow. With my to to be a tailor. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. 
or dexterity. Does does the, gardening need the... precision at all? Then you think it doesn't? No, it doesn't. No. That's interesting. No, no, not precision. Okay. You so what what, do, what does it require? What sort of skills does it require then? What predisposes you to be a good gardener? I think it's consistency with mm. the effort. Sounds like podcasting water. to me. Yeah, <laughs> watering every day. Yeah. Don't forget the water when it's thirty-five degrees. <laughs> Doing the jobs that people don't see, like the pulling the weeds out and pruning. Like, pruning. That sounds like me doing bushes. a podcast, man. <laughs> exactly. I mean, YouTube. <laughs> doing the job that people don't see. Yeah. It's a lot of, yeah, and then people see the beautiful like this one here is really beautiful now, mm. flowering. So what's that then? What do you call that? I don't. I don't know the names of them. To be it's honest. it's a beautiful flower. Pink. It looks like a bonsai, or a little bit. Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah. I haven't seen it anywhere like before. Yeah, it's blossoming in, now. In, it's in blossom. It's pink. And the 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 color of the palettes is that the word palette? It's no, pink. Pa- petals. Petals. Sorry, palettes is something else. Palettes are those stones, right? With paint. Palettes is paint. Isn't it? Palette. Or it's like palettes. A pallet is what you put paint in to mix your paint. No, no, but what would you call those little stones? Oh, pellets. Pebbles. Pe- no, pellet. Pebbles. 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 Pebbles, sorry, pebbles. Oh, yeah, pebbles. yeah, 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 sorry. Yeah, petals, petals. Petals. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know, would you call those petals? Petals more for poppy, right? And those sort of tulip. I think you'd still call them petals, but maybe they're not. Petals, yeah. Like this flower, maybe? I have to check. So when you, when you imagine a flower, petals are those... Just the individual... The parts, like, the individual you, parts you of the flower. Part of a flower, yeah. Yeah. Not the thing in the middle. No. Not that thing. Okay, cool. So, watering, yeah? So how often do you have to water your, uh, depends your on plants the, then? Depends on the plant. Most here every day because I keep them in direct sunlight. We made sure we bought ones that could live in direct sunlight ah, so it wouldn't be okay. too difficult to... I couldn't, I couldn't be one of your plants then. You couldn't be one of my plants. <laughs> <laughs> what happens? I, I couldn't you water go in direct every day. sunlight then. <laughs> uh, well. <laughs> implode. <laughs> Let's say, let's say I don't there. last very long. <laughs> <laughs> and that's another podcast, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't go there. All right. So, 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 again, what plans do you have here then? So I can see some chilies here next, right next to you. Do you want to try one? Yeah. Well, I don't mind chilies, but are they like? These ones are quite mild, actually. <laughs> um, hot one, really hot. No, ones. these are quite mild. You can eat them jalapenos well. or these are. I don't know what they are, but have you tasted them before? I have. And, they are, and you're still here. They are insanely, insanely hot. I'll, I'll have one after the podcast. That, that, How about I think that? you should do it live on air. Then. That, that's why. That's <laughs> yeah, why that 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 wouldn't be <laughs> as good as as doing it now. as a video oh, because yeah, this podcast is not record be getting recorded as a video. So, so maybe you could do a YouTube short YouTube video afterwards on yeah. next. Put we'll do, do it as a next thing. Called Denik, Denik Zdenik, Zdenik. Zdenik 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 yeah. Uh, we could do a, a reel or something as well. Yeah, Instagram a sh- reel. A short. Yeah. yeah, short. It would be appropriate. Yeah, but short. these chilies are all quite dry, and they're all quite dry because we haven't eaten them because they are very spicy. Because Jenks have. doesn't water them enough. Yeah. No, no, they're just they've been here for too long. <laughs> He's neglected them. No, no one eats <laughs> them anymore. Neglecting his own plants. <laughs> yeah, hypocritically coming onto the podcast, talk, <laughs> telling us everything about gardening. Yeah. <laughs> to be honest, like I will live from this for a long time because I know nothing about gardening. I'll get so. my own back when Zedek eats the chili and you guys see it. And Is it see. like five? What do you? You have like different sort of uh, the Scoville scale. Like scale. you have like a what's it called Sco, What is this Scoville? Scoville, Scoville scale yeah. of hotness. Is yeah. Heat? yeah. Um, so what? Where? Where is this? I don't know what specific chili on that scale then. Somewhere near the top, do you reckon? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> if you just put one on your tongue, it just just burns, and I cried, and wow. You will probably <laughs> cry when I do that. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you'll you cry feel, out so of like you start laughing at me. Because I really like fresh chilies that are mild, even with seeds in. But these mm. are just too. So why do you why do you get hot ones then? Did you did you we know really what you were? We didn't know. No. What you were getting? No. Did you get it as a gift or? Me and Ming just bought it. We looked at it, thought it looked nice, and we just bought it. And yeah, I mean, to be honest, I will probably make these. I'll probably dry them out, ground them up, and make them into some chili um, powder, a chili powder, chili or chili, powder. chili oil, maybe. Chili oil. Some sort of pepper yeah. spray. Can you do? That's, that's exactly what I meant. Zanac, Could you yeah. do a pepper spray, like to like, yeah, and then give it sure. to your girlfriend, maybe like to protect yeah. herself, <laughs> protection from me. <laughs> yeah. not, not from you, but from Chris, more maybe. Yeah, or, the neighbor. You know. yeah. <laughs> the dodgy neighbor. You, you, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> dodgy neighbor. <laughs> 
Right, so what else do you have here? I can see like some limes, limes there, or limes. Limes over there. This is incredible. Limes. Yep. How long does this, how long does it grow then? Like, how oh. long? They've been on there for ages. You can pick one up. I mean, I, I don't think they're full size yet, but the yeah. lime tree my girlfriend wanted, so that's her. But that, that's doing really well, actually. That is quite sexy, I have to say. Yeah. It looks so nice. Yeah, it's nice. It's yeah. also a little bit like mimicry because the, the the fruit has exactly the same color of the as the leaves yeah, so why why are the chilies they stand out you, know, you see, you see well, when red. i bought them they're green and they've ah, turned okay. to red but the the lime is not going to turn to red i think no. so it's gonna stay as, as it is i'm a big fan of lime yeah. you can also do mojito oh, try, try one yeah try one yeah should, should, one I, should i have it yeah. after the chili or before what probably was? after to take away the pain of the chili <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't get any more. Of and the rest of these are flowers. My herbs are all downstairs in the front yard because ah, okay. I use them for cooking. I don't want to climb up three stories. Yeah. So herbs, I've got basil, rosemary, thyme, oregano, mm. mint, parsley. Yeah. You have mint. You have lime. You can do mojito. We can do a mojito. Well, yeah, exactly. I haven't got rum. We can buy it. I need rum. We can <laughs> buy it. Yeah, I've got vodka and gin. Mm -hmm. I do like a mojito. Okay, lovely. So, so what what's next in store for James then? What's what's the plan? How do you want to expand your garden? Yeah, so that's actually a really good question because I was, as you do, you get addicted to YouTube shorts or whatever it is. You mean watching them or making them? Watching them. I know I don't make them. I, I rarely well, you go will on social now, media, maybe. but you might. You might start. Why not? I don't know. It's not teacher really. Jenks, you're an English teacher, <laughs> but not online. Gardener, it sounds like something not many people have done. Yeah, you ask me. There's a it's really good French guy on YouTube that was just like, I don't know, does short videos on gardening. It just sounds really interesting. I really like the idea of growing all my own uh, vegetables. Yeah. Uh, the thing is, what you find is in Vietnam, it's quite hard to find organic vegetables, and yeah. I'm not doing that just to jump on like the craze. But mm -hmm. obviously, you guys have heard of the Vietnam War on Agent Orange yeah. and. Vietnam has one of the worst kind of like cases of like pes of spraying pesticides on vegetables because shortcuts and they just want to get it to yeah. get it from farm to table very quickly without any problems. So I don't like the idea of buying too many vegetables. Like and obviously veg comes down from China, which is even worse, growing in what factories or something. So I like the mm. idea of growing all my own veg, and so yeah. that will probably be the next step. We've got like a. Mm. We've but kind of got a big space next so to our house. Oh, so there's in another between, space. In between mine and Chris's house, there's a land which mm. a house hasn't been built yet, touch wood. Mm. So, so, so if they don't build on that, then maybe we can grow Oh, maybe. So you will have to ask your landlord. No, rent well, it's not our landlord. This is just a house. This is land that someone's bought there, mm. but they haven't built their property on it. It's just land at the moment. So, but isn't that a bit strange? Because one day they might decide yeah, so they might, to use but, it. I mean... Things go quickly. There's no in, other um, other way, right? Because be there's not enough space for you to. Or would you? Would you? Would you, you, would you grow like tomatoes up here? Yeah. But you couldn't grow like potatoes or anything too. Would big. you want to grow potatoes? That that requires a lot of space, doesn't it? Yes, that's what I mean. So maybe like out there. But they're very quite easy to grow. Or you just put the. Yeah. But can you grow potatoes in this climate? I don't know. Yeah. You can. Potatoes grow. Uh, I'm not sure. You know, like you probably have to. Be, Buried them fairly deep, I would have thought, yeah. where it's a little bit cooler, a bit more moist. Maybe they grow in Dak Lak. A lot of the veg here comes from Da Lat and Dak Lak, which is a cooler, mountainous kind of oh, climate okay. in Vietnam. So they grow strawberries there because it's a bit right. cooler. Right. So you might be right with potatoes. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just wondering because I think this, this is lovely, like a lot yeah. of sunlight and all that, a lot of rain as well in winter. So that yeah. must be great. But at the same time, it doesn't really get cold. Yeah, cold, so maybe so I, I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure because when it rains, it only rains. Yeah. You don't get any sunlight. So like, isn't that like bad for plants? Yeah. I don't know. Well, that will probably be the season where they die. Then they'll come back in the warm season. It's also the season when I die. <laughs> <laughs> Most likely. I actually don't mind the rainy season. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. It's a big contrast here, isn't it? The season, yeah. the wet season. I, wet. I don't mind it for like one month, but as it goes two, three, four months, it gets a bit boring. So how long does it last then? Three months? It depends on the year. So, uh, so what can I expect? Like, because I, some I, years I, it's two months, some years it's four months. Right, because I came month. in, I came in 
It came at Christmas. She came right at the end of the rainy season. And it season. felt like it lasted only for what, about one month. But that was at the end of rainy season. Really? So when does it? When does the rainy season October, start then? Yeah, end of September. And end of September. Of, uh, typhoons, yeah. storms coming in October. Storms, typhoons. Yeah. Isn't that isn't that a bit dangerous for your garden then? Don't it, won't it be blown away or something? No, I think there's enough Maybe. Prote- protection up here. We'll move all the garden furniture inside. Yeah. We'll probably put the rooftops away for the winter, like the furniture, the pots, mm-hmm. we'll bring them in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The lights. Well, yeah. So we won't, we won't get blown away? I hope okay. Okay. Well, could I, do. But I have to say, personally, I am quite blown away by what you have here. It's pretty nice, I have to Thanks. say. Pretty nice. Yeah, really Inspirational and, yeah. you know. The flowers, like, I never understood the, the sort of appeal of growing your own flowers. I think it's usually like a girl thing, isn't it? Like, is it, is it me, so is it yours? It's, it started with me, actually. Oh, yeah. really? Like, yeah. I, I never understood it. Like, I like what's the, because what's, the why? thing is, if you pick a flower, you kill yeah. it. Whereas if you have a plant in your house... So you, do you need to pick a flower? Right? What, what? Well, when, when you buy flowers from the market, they've all been picked. So if you give flowers oh, to right, your girlfriend, right. they've all been picked. So Fair they're going to die in, like, yeah. two weeks. Where these flowers, they just kind of blossom every now and again. And when one plant blossoms, another plant dies. It's just like, yeah... yeah. Fair enough then. Nice way of having it. What's that thing? And they are pretty. What's that thing? Where? Behind the table. Humidi- dehumidifier. No, that's the aircon. Oh, is the aircon? That, you'll have one of them too. On do, top you of your building. Do, you, do you have aircon that is outside? That, like, no, they all need one that outside, don't they? they all need yeah, it's a split, they call it a split system. So you have uh, the in, inside the aircon is split into two units. So ah. the, the, re- the rejected heat goes in there comes out of there at the outside box and then the one inside regulates temperature and spits out the, the colder air. Mm. Well thanks for that. I'm none the wiser but <laughs> <laughs> I never understood this kind of stuff anyway. It's like physics, yeah, so Yeah, basically I think, yeah. I think I have to stick to football. But gardening has been a lovely, lovely topic. Is there anything else that what what goes into gardening normally? So we have to, we let's let's just have Passion. throw throw in some book no, I mean uh, act- activities you have to do ah. so let's throw in some vocabulary so okay, you so mentioned some weeding you have to weed you have to weed, weed they're, the, right? they're the kind of plants we're that not that talking about like want. smoking marijuana you here, can right? do that while you weed but yeah no don't do that listeners it's hardy <laughs> hardy what's that hardy right <laughs> what's hardy it means like it, it's resistant to extremes of climate ah yeah weather yeah so hardy plant in, in Vietnam you describe I would describe the the, the, the foliage and the plants you see as being quite hardy, yeah. so they're res- more resistant to extremes yeah. of weather. Well, that would be like palms as well, palm trees. Yeah, very hardy, yeah, coconut yeah. trees. They uh-huh. just seem to shoot up very quickly. They just, yeah. Even and they the can survive for a long time without yeah, water as well. Like quite poor soil conditions, I think, as well. But like normally, like, speaking generally, so we have gardening, so, so what goes a, into it? So a shovel to dig shovel. the soil. Yeah. Shovel, that's the kind of, like... Dig the soil in order to, like, make yeah. a hole. To dig and, the hole, you use and then the sow. shovel. That's the tool you use. Yeah, so yeah, you yeah. rake, you rake the leaves. Rake when, the when leaves, leaves yeah. drop, you use the rake, which is a three-pronged instrument that you yeah. take the leaves away with. Yeah. What else do you do? You well, you can mow, mow your seeds. garden if you have some grass. Mow the lawn. Yeah, if you... I mean, lawn, yeah, yeah. The, the grass. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. But we don't, we, don't, we don't have grass, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Do, do Vietnamese people mow their I gardens? I've never or? heard that. I've never seen that. Yeah. Have you? I don't see a lot of grass here. I don't think it's... There is grass, but it doesn't grow no. very long, And does uh, it? Actually, in Vietnam, people don't tend to have gardens, really, do they? Garden is a real luxury in Vietnam yeah. because of the... The kind of densely populated nature of the country. Yeah. And they put that space into having a bigger house rather than yeah, exactly. a house and a garden. I see. What That's you why. Mean. Well, even this is just a rooftop garden. It's, it's, it's a luxury. It's a separate, separate plot. Um, You're living a glamorous life, then. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah are you? Are you, are you? Are you a little bit envious of his garden, or are you going to have your own uh, garden one day, Chris? A little bit. Um, I do have like a something that's a little bit similar to this at the front of my house like a kind of a balcony which is which has got potential to become it's a garden but uh, it's a non-starter because yeah it's not as private as this this rooftop at the back so yeah. my balcony faces the road and mm-hmm. you know it, yeah, in Vietnam it's like it's not too bad but there can be some noise from neighbors yeah. yeah um well this seems like a quiet 
this is lucky because on the back of the Five house area. and these neighbours here are quiet. On the front, there's you know, one neighbour that's a little bit noisier. Is it the is it the one that that you call a gangster? Yeah, that Chris calls a gangster. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. Is that a disclaimer? <laughs> just just in case someone. I don't, I don't want to get yeah. I've got six cameras up around my house just in case. No, I haven't. <laughs> okay, is that just to prevent Chris from burgling your house or something? <laughs> <laughs> stealing your plants from exactly, six, yeah. stealing your Plant chili, chili and I lime. I just ordered four more yesterday. <laughs> For the outside. You bought four more cameras? Yeah. Because I okay. want them on the outside. Are you two getting a little bit obsessed? I think she's got a fetish for cameras now. Don't <laughs> hang on, hang on. Do you have a camera here to, to not, protect, yeah. protect your plants? No, that's one of them that I bought, an outdoor camera for here. Okay. Not so to protect the plants, but because it's a door. And I think someone could easily put a ladder up, a really and climb up. up and climb up. And steal all your chilies. Steal all my chilies, yes. <laughs> well, let's hope they all eat it. My chilies are too what? spicy. Okay. So you think they would try them out first before before taking them? I think they probably walk past the plants and go for the house, to be honest. Uh, the reason I've got the camera is because of my dog, Prince Philip. Uh, there's dog theft problem in Vietnam in general, so I'll just have to be careful. Oh, really? I think it is a very safe neighbourhood, and I don't think it would happen, but just... If I, because I go out to teach and my girlfriend's a nurse, sometimes Phil's in the house by himself, so I just want to see what he's doing, just... Yeah. yeah, I've seen it because we have we we were playing board games, and uh, Chris was it was it when we were playing board games? No, it was something else. When did we go out last time? The pub. Yeah, we went to a pub, and you were pub. looking. Yeah. You, because you've got an app. Yeah, on my phone. To, to see what's happening in your house. Yeah. And that's that's going through your camera, of course. So so you were looking at your dog there. So I was like, yeah. and we have things like a maid here, where obviously the one of the one of the nice things about Vietnam as a foreigner is like. The labour can be quite cheap here, so I can afford to have a maid come every day. But obviously, with a with a cheap wage, there comes the oh, they might be driven to like steal something. So I just want to keep an eye on it. That mm -hmm. kind of thing. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. And so, going back to gardening, so what other things are there? So you harvest, yeah, harvest the yeah harvest is I would say is more kind of like a big crop, like wheat, barley. So what if you England. just like pick? Would you I just would say, say pick? I just pick. You yeah, just pick okay. your pick your. Chilies. I mean, a technical term probably would be harvest, but yeah. Yeah. Pick. Yeah, this is like an ongoing process, right? Yeah. Because you have different sort of. Yeah. Oh, we also have avocados. You haven't seen. Oh, really? We've actually got some more glamorous uh, stuff. We've got avocados down there. This is my girlfriend. The tree down there mm -hmm. on the bottom floor. Then mm -hmm. we've got um, jackfruit as well. In our front garden. And That's like one of those tropical fruits. Yeah. Jackfruit's great, especially if you're. Ve well, I'm not vegetarian, but if you are a vegetarian, it's got a nice um, protein bite to it. Does a, it? a bite that can mimic meat, like yeah, really nice texture. And we have. What else do I have at the front? I've got a big. Uh, it's bananas. Mango. Mango. Bananas. And mango, well. Bananas and mango. Yeah. So I've actually got quite a lot of fruit. Yeah. At the front. Yeah. I will have yeah. to have a look then. That's the luxury of living in this hot wow. planet. Yeah, wow. get the cameras up, things. So, yeah. like, then could there out. be some monkeys? But people like, do steal the fruit, and I. And yeah, that's, what, that's what I wanted to ask you about. What about some animals like monkeys? There are monkeys here, right? In, in Donan. Yeah, monkeys. Just yeah, Chris. So <laughs> <laughs> um, I haven't seen any. There are monkeys in Danang, Monkey Mountain, but I haven't seen any <laughs> near the house. Um, Sometimes they get they come in the neighbourhood and they. They, they actually do, don't they? they, they, do they? Yeah, they swing from house to house. <laughs> People do steal the fruit, though. And I don't People mind. People steal the fruit. I'm very happy to give the fruit away for free. But I don't like it when they come and take it. Because you're waiting for it to ripen on the tree. They might as well just ask you. Just ask me and I'll give it to you. Really? They, they, okay, like, can you give me some bananas, mango? Yeah, what what else do you have? Next time you meet and it's harvested, I'll give Chili. it to you. Okay, perfect. Mango, jackfruit. Nice. I'll give you jackfruit. Because you are you vegetarian? I'm not. A lot, a lot of the time. I'm not, but I. I a lot eat, of the time I you eat. don't eat meat, right? Yeah. I think it's no longer true, actually, because I, I think I, I went to the vegan restaurant way too often, uh, I kind of put you and off. I got tired of it. Yeah. And I think now I have this period where I eat a lot of meat, all the time. Yeah. Well. So maybe if we do a games night here one night, I yeah. can use a jackfruit and we can make a jackfruit burger or something. Perfect. Yeah. Can't wait. Nice. Yeah, yeah. But it's fun, guys. Good stuff, good stuff. Well, is there anything else to say about this topic then? I like how we made it per very personal today, you know. 
we got a yeah. we got a nice insight into your to your life. Yeah, I don't know how nice much peak. vocab you got in there, but yeah. That's all right. That's all right. It's very authentic. That's what we do here on the Next English Podcast. And mm. Chris got got involved as well. Yeah, nice to uh, sit here and chat with you guys again. Always a pleasure. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for having me. It's been great. Yeah. No worries, man. Good stuff. So thank you very much for telling me and my listeners about gardening and. Yeah. Yeah, until next time. See you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Cheers. Thanks a lot for listening. For more information, go to Zdenex English Podcast Facebook group or visit zdenexenglishpodcast.podbean.com. <laughs>